that I once was crowned with glory is crowned with glory now. The Savior knelt to wash our feet. Now at His feet we
some means, we would know the power of the resurrection. Lord Jesus, I pray for an abundance of people who would follow in Paul's footsteps in that manner. That they would consider all else as lost for the sake of knowing you, their King, sharing in your sufferings and sharing in your death. And by any means possible, knowing the power of your resurrection, that immeasurably great power for us who believe that raised Christ Jesus from the dead. Father, I pray that we would know that same mighty power that raised us up from the dead. Your word says that when we're baptized into Christ's death, we're trusting in your mighty power to raise us up just like you raised Jesus. That we stand in your throne room since night and day that we are seated on the throne, united with your son Jesus. I pray that we would realize that same resurrection power, that same dominion power that is an authority over every ruler, power, and authority and spirit in this dark world. That not a single thing can stand up against you. And in you we have all of that have access to all of it. I pray that you would teach us, Lord, to walk in that victory. First in our own lives and then help lead others into that same victory. I pray that Lord Jesus, those who are newborns that know they're forgiven would grow up to be young men, the word of God growing strong in them and gaining victory over the devil. I pray that these young men who have the word of God swelling strongly in them and have defeated the evil one would grow up to be fathers, mature in the faith, and they would know your heart and they'd be able to reveal it to those around them because they know you, Jesus. Again, I pray, God, that those who are newborns in the faith, who know they are forgiven, would grow up to be young men. They would abide in the word and they would consume it and it would become a part of who they are, become powerful in them. They would know how to wield it as the sword that it is against the powers of darkness and against sin in their own life, against sinful desires. And by so doing, they would gain victory over the evil one. Lord, we pray that the young men would gain victory over the devil, would then learn your heart, would learn the Father's heart, would draw close to you in love and adoration and in worship and in praise and in thanksgiving and in rejoicing, and they would express your compassion, your mercy, your goodness, your forgiveness, your patience, your endurance, your tolerance, your kindness to everyone around them, that they would be walking expressions, just like Jesus was, of your love and your character and your nature, that we would be ones to reveal your name, just like Jesus did, that we would reveal your glory, the goodness that you have for us. Father, your word says that you've given us everything we need to live a life of godliness by your divine power. And we come to receive this by knowing Christ Jesus our Lord. That you've given us what we need to escape this world's corruption caused by evil desires. And that is by knowing Christ Jesus our Lord. So I pray you give us revelation about what eternal life is. I pray you give us revelation that that yes, someday we will be with you fully, perfectly, completely, but now you've still given us everything we need to live a life of resurrection power. Fill our faith, Lord Jesus. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of the
King has resurrected.